Yeah, hi, Akshay. Good evening. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Actually, I rejoined this room. I thought no one would join, so I thought to rejoin this again. Okay, okay. I just joined actually. Okay. So, how are you doing, Akshay? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing good as well. Thank you. Thanks. So, Akshay, where are you nowadays? Pune or something? In Pune, yeah. Pune. I live You're with my family, yeah. Okay, so you belong from Pune only? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Akshay, so let's get started with the interview process. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I would like to know about your previous projects, like what were those projects about, mm -hmm. and what were your roles and responsibilities in those projects? Sure, sure. So I'll start with my the first job like after my graduation. So initial one year I worked in the telecom and IT for the uh, customer support and maintain the internal case matrix. And uh, I had no I had got a chance to work on Excel and ad hoc reports. So based on that experience, I got another opportunity in the current organization as a data analyst. So here I closely work with the finance teams and uh, sales team. And uh, my current project is more likely 50% uh, is operational and uh, somehow 50% is on technical part you can say. So what I do, so the sales team come up with their requirements and on the basis of that requirement I collect the data from our Oracle database and I run my reports, I run my own analysis on the top of the requirement. I do follow some business model and uh, i present that report with the sales team if they do have any uh, exceptions on on that report or for example if they do have some another data which they want to claim on existing order let's say so i work with the different stakeholders to validation and uh, sometime i also work with the finance team for approval and once it is approved, then I do some modifications in existing ad hoc report and I share with them. And in another track, I also prepare the Tableau report for the same same scenarios like where in customer can actually see what, what are the purchase they do have and when that purchase is going to be expired and what is the status in nutshell. And if they have any queries, like if they say something is missing in our dashboard, they do share their data with me and after certain validation I update our backend database. So that kind of support I do in nutshell. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what I understand like you are working in the finance team like you are pretty much familiar with the SQL because you yeah. have a database in yeah. on top of it and you have an experience of Tableau as well, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to ask you some basic SQL questions and mm -hmm. then we will move forward accordingly. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, you might have used union and union all in your queries. Yeah, sometime I used to find out the all data. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. if I'm not able so to what? get... Yeah, yeah. So, in union, I, I can get... I can actually use two different queries to get all the data from these two different query on single page. Where I can see all the records and uh, in What's union the yeah in in all? union uh, i can only fetch the distinct data but if i do the union all then uh, i i'll also get the duplicate records or incomplete records in the data okay uh, i'm picking your query in the chat box mm -hmm. um can you tell me the output of this one select one from dual union all select a from dual Okay. Because you use Oracle, so I'm I am assuming you are aware of dual tables, right? Uh, not sure because they do have different tables already been structured. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, dual table is nothing but a dummy table, and it doesn't have any data. It's a system table. Okay. okay. And it doesn't have any data or anything. Uh, this is used like uh, if you will type select sys date from dual, it will give you system date. If you are writing select one from dual, it will give you one. Only one. So I think yeah, in select a from dual will give you a. So one and a will be written in this query. This query will return me return me a uh, record with one and a. Okay. 
have you faced any error while using union and you know uh there are some set of rules and I know, limitations but, uh, I haven't that much used it. I mostly I use joints and uh... mm, okay. Uh, but still, you aware of any rules like for using union that number of columns should be same? Yeah, in union still... like the the field we say is supposed to be the same in the data. Like if I'm I have one query with the same set of field, so whatever query I'm going to add between the union all or union that both of these queries should have the same field to match that data where data types otherwise it will return the error right. similarly there is another uh, one uh, rule like data type should be same for example. yeah data like you're type selecting should. five columns from upper table and there should be five columns in a bottom table bottom table and the data yeah. type supposed to be the same for this column yeah so for this query I think this is a, uh, a numerical and this is a in alphabet so this data type is different so this will return the error data type error I'm not sure what error it will show but definitely this will return the error okay okay uh, so you might be using this group by having where and yeah by I use the query. where uh, in in function I mostly use because the stakeholder says we need uh, some set of orders to be in our report so i directly check i use in okay. function to know face that okay. data directly so if all these four clauses are available in one single query what is the order of execution like what will happen first and then this Table, it has the tail of um, employees, name, department, salary, and month. Month, okay. Okay, so let's say Ashish is a HR, mm -hmm. and uh, salary is like he got thousand salary in January, then thousand in February, two thousand mm -hmm. in March. Okay. And same ways, Badal Sagar Priyanka people are there. Mm -hmm. So now, if I want to know from HR department. Mm -hmm. The name of the person from HR department whose aggregated salary is greater than 6000. When I say aggregated, that means the combination of these three months, January, February, March. When you add up all these three months salary, that should be greater than 6000. Department and employee. Yeah, there are two tables department and employee. Mm -hmm. Department has department ID, department description. Employee has employee name and their department ID. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be the output of full outer join? And in output, I just want employee name and department description. Employee name and department, department. description. Okay. Yeah. The department. output of full outer join. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all you have to tell. And you have to tell me the output, not the query. Okay. Okay. Directly output you want with full yes. output joint. Mm -hmm. What are the other tools and technologies you have worked on apart from SQL and Tableau? Like, are you aware of any of the ETL tools? I am not aware because I didn't get chance, but uh, I'm, I'm okay. planning to learn ETL. Mm -hmm. uh, I, as per my understanding, it is like uh, infrastructure, infrastructure like building a pipeline from data source to a data warehouse like and it should be usable to visualize the data effectively so theoretically i know but practically i haven't worked okay no issues and have you like ever explored or uh, got the chance to work on any of the web-based technologies like aws gcp anything like that uh, I haven't learned but yeah definitely okay. I'm planning to learn this. Currently I'm learning the Power BI also. Okay. So and it is okay. in my plan, so I've started learning okay. all this thing. Okay, got it. Uh so uh just uh, like one last question. Do you have any uh -huh. just tell me something uh something out of the box you have like achieved or uh, uh, implemented technically as a team effort or as an individual effort and uh, yeah. it was like something you are proud of and uh, like when it ended and you were like yes i did it that type of thing yeah 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 
So actually when I joined my current organization as data analyst, so mm -hmm. I, so they only gave me uh, Excel to work on. But uh, later on I started learning Tableau. So I started some capstone project on my own. So around 35 plus projects I have done on my own on Tableau dashboard and all. So when I demonstrated that with my manager, so that she was really impressed and then after that she aligned me to the Tableau project where they actually needed someone to work on the dashboarding part. So this is what I feel like uh, from my perspective like it was a kind of achievement for me because uh, when I showed my learning and my you know, uh, eager, I was eager to learn new, new things. So what I feel is like until and unless I don't show the what I have, the other person is not going to give me a chance like so yeah. this is what i feel so yeah, since like then that. i started picking up different technologies like uh, i'm still learning the python i know uh -huh. data processing in python and visualize it so uh -huh. that is also one i also automated uh, one manual task which is which used to take uh, three hours to do manual validation so i wrote a python script where in a single script if someone can run simply by extracting the data from csv excel they they directly get relevant things out of that with my questions mm -hmm. and if you have like any question for me yeah so actually i wanted to know more about this role and if i consider this role then uh, how i can grow further okay so uh, what is this role about let me tell you so mm -hmm. we are first of all we are serving insurance client we are from insurance domain and we have two clients uh, one of them is recently onboarded mm -hmm. Okay, we just like uh, got uh, work from them. So we are still understanding their data and whatever requirements they are, they are giving us. We are still mm -hmm. uh, like uh, building new approaches for them, designing and everything. And then there, there is an other client uh, which we have been serving for a very long time now. Mm -hmm. So uh, in that project, what is the requirement is like... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so for example, let's see, everything is built to uh, using Oracle and Informatica. Mm -hmm. Oracle database, Informatica is the ETL tool. Okay, all the processes are built there. And now that client is uh, using new technologies like Snowflake. Uh, I'm not sure if you have heard about it. Yeah, there's a yeah. new database, Snowflake, web-based database. Cloud database. And, yeah, cloud database. And there's another uh, ETL tool as well, stream set using, uh, that is also web-based, mm -hmm. cloud uh, so uh, we are moving there so obviously the all, all the existing flow which is uh, existing system which is there in oracle informatica mm -hmm. that is also slowly moving to snowflake and for that uh, we need data analysis uh, to be done so because when the process was built like 10 years ago or something, <laughs> at that time data was different now data is different requirement okay. is different and as we know every system we build there are some flaws in that nothing is 100 percent correct so when we are rebuilding it obviously we will try to fix those things mm -hmm. come up with some effective design effective okay. design modules right so those kind of stuff we are doing and then uh, obviously whatever new requirements are coming from the business those things we are building using snowflake okay. and uh, stream side so if i see like what will you gain here mm -hmm. is as you said you are uh, keen to learn new tools and technologies yeah, right yeah. so you will learn a lot of new tools and technologies snowflake python sorry snowflake python you are already learning yeah. python we have here as well so python then stream set is there you might not have to work on stream set like uh, you don't have to design or anything because <laughs> you will be a data analyst but to understand the data you have to go through it and uh, see now what is yeah, happening yeah. there so that's the part and then we have aws as well uh, so that will be a learning for you so yeah, those are the things uh, we are working on. Yeah, it's, it's really great opportunity, I think, for learning perspective yeah. and for them too. So, yes, yeah. uh, but uh, I'm not very sure about the Tableau. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we have learned it, but the Tableau, we are not very sure about the Tableau. I mean, we used to use this Tableau, but now I think everything has moved to Power, Power BI, BI yeah. and SAS, VIA or something like that. I'm not very sure because I'm not from mm -hmm. the reporting side. But uh, what I have a Tableau, they were, uh, we have to buy license for Tableau, right? So right, right. They stopped buying license for Tableau mm -hmm. and uh, now they are moving to Power BI. Yeah. All the reports are there. Yeah. Power Python have, oh, sorry, the Tableau have uh, the maintenance uh, thing but it's comparatively expensive then power bi is cheaper than the tableau so yes yes so 
that's like so i'm not very sure how much tableau will be using or how much data visual any of the data visualization tool be it tableau be it power bi how much uh, that you will be getting to work on mm-hmm. that i'm not sure but data as like data uh, like you said in your current role as well you get the requirement and you do the analysis run the query you know record data yeah. right yeah Main yeah part is that so that will be there in this requirement as well great Oh, Nurshel, this is a great opportunity. If I consider to carry on as a data engineer in further in future, then yes, this is a yes. great platform. Yes. So it will be like a mix of data. I mean, I right now the profile says data analyst, but uh, going forward, you will be getting chance to work as a data engineer. Yeah, as yeah. Well. So data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, anything you can call it. But yeah. It's, <laughs> so, it's a great opportunity yeah. actually. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Anything else? Uh, nothing for now. I will wait to hear back feedback from you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Akshay. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Yeah.